Hi everyone and welcome to my channel Hobeth BB. This video of mine is about tinea versicolor which is a common fungal infection of the skin. Earlier I uploaded a short video in which I presented a brief overview about this illness. I hope you have already seen that video and today I am going to discuss this illness in detail. The fungus interferes with the normal pigmentation of the skin resulting in small discolored patches. These patches may be lighter or darker in color than the surrounding skin and most commonly affect the trunk and shoulders. Tinea versicolor occurs most frequently in teens and young adults. Sun exposure may make tinea versicolor more apparent. Tinea versicolor, which is also called pityriasis versicolor, is not painful or contagious, but it can lead to emotional distress or self-consciousness. Antifungal creams, lotions or shampoos can help treat tinea versicolor, but even after successful treatment, skin color may remain uneven for several weeks or months. Tinea versicolor often recurs, especially in warm and humid weather. Now let me tell you the symptoms. Tinea versicolor signs and symptoms include patches of the skin and discoloration, usually on the back, chest, neck and upper arms which may appear lighter or darker than usual. There could be mild itching and scaling as well. You should see your doctor if your skin does not improve with self-care measures which I am going to tell you uh, shortly. The fungal infection, in case the fungal infection returns then you must see your doctor and if the patches uh, cover large areas of your body then in that case also you should consult your doctor. Okay. Now let me tell you the causes. The fungus that causes tinea versicolor can be found on healthy skin. It only starts causing problems when the fungus overgrows. A number of factors may trigger this growth which include hot, humid weather, oily skin, hormonal changes, weakened immune system. Now let me tell you the preventive measures. To help prevent tinea versicolor from returning, your doctor can prescribe a skin or oral treatment that you use once or twice a month. You may need to use these just during warm and humid months. Preventive treatments include selenium sulfide that comes with the name of selson, 2.5% uh, lotion or shampoo, uh, ketoconazole uh, that comes with the netherol and some other names, a cream, a gel or shampoo, okay. Another medication is itroconazole that comes with the name of onmil and sporanox. Uh, this, this comes in tablets, capsules or oral solution, okay, in, in oral solution form, okay. Another medicine is fluconazole uh, that comes with the trade name of deflucon and this is also tab uh, in the form of tablets or oral solution. Okay, these were the preventive measures. Now I will tell you about the diagnosis. Well, when the patient comes to us, it is uh, usually easy to diagnose tinea versicolor just by looking at uh, looking at the skin. Okay, if there is any down, if there is any doubt, then um, uh, we may take skin scrapings from the infected area and view view them under a microscope then it is easily to di diagnose this fungal infection okay now let me tell you about the treatment if tinea versicolor is severe or does not respond to over the counter antifungal medi medicine you may need to uh, you may need a prescription strength medication some of these medications are topical pre preparation that you rub on your skin others are drug that you swallow now I'll give you some examples of uh, local applications um, I mean the form of creams, gels or lotions and also I will tell you about uh, this oral tablets or capsules, okay? Well, uh, most of these uh, I already told in uh, preventive measures but let me uh, tell uh, you here once again, okay? The first medicine uh, usually we prescribe is ketoconazole that comes with the name of uh, ketoconazole, netherol and some other names. This comes in the form of cream, gel or shampoo, okay? Then another medicine is 
Cyclopyrox, which comes with the name of Loprox, or Penlac uh, cream, gel, or shampoo. And then and there is another medicine that is fluconazole that comes in the form of tablets or oral solution uh, with the name of def, uh, deflucan. Okay. Then we have itraconazole that come with the name of on mill spor or sporonox tablets, capsules or oral solution. Then we have a famous uh, this uh, selenium sulfide that uh, comes with the name of selson that is 2.5% lotion or shampoo. Uh, you need to remember that even after successful treatment, your skin color may remain uneven for several weeks or even months. Also, the infection may return in hot and humid weather. In persistent cases, you may need to take a medication once or twice a month to prevent the, uh, to prevent the infection from recurring. Okay? Now, I will tell you about some lifestyle and home remedies. For a mild case of tinea versicola, you can apply an over-the-counter antifungal lotion, cream, ointment, or shampoo. Most fungal infections respond well to these topical agents, which in include clotrimazole that comes with the name of lotrimine AF cream or lotion. Another medicine is myconazole that comes with the name of mycoderm. This is in cream form. Then we have selenium sulfide that that is uh, famous selson blue one percent lotion and another medicine is which is commonly used is terbinafine which comes with the name of uh, comes with the name of lamisil at cream or gel then we have a soap which comes with the name of uh, zinc parith parithione okay zinc parithione soap is also helpful for uh, and this uh, tinea versicular okay now i will tell you how to uh, apply these cream lotions or shampoo okay just uh, uh, listen to this very carefully okay when using creams ointments or lotions wash and dry the affected area then apply a thin layer of the product once or twice a day for at least two weeks if you are using shampoo Rinse, rinse it off after waiting 5 to 10 minutes. I mean, if you are uh, using shampoo, then you should uh, uh, you should not rinse it immediately. You should wait at least 5 to 10 minutes and then you can rinse it, okay? If you do not see an improvement after 4 weeks, then you should see your doctor. You uh, Because uh, some pa patients use this uh, over-the-counter medicine, uh, as I'm telling you in this, these home remedies, so what I want to say is that if you if you use these home remedies and there is still no improvement uh, for, uh, for four weeks, then you should see your doctor. Then when patients come to us, that uh, come to us, then we we write uh, some prescription strength medicine, which uh, we, uh, there are different medicine available, which I already told you. Okay. So uh, then in that case, I mean, if the infection is fear or if it is not uh, healing after four weeks, then we, we may uh, prescribe some stronger medications. It, it also helps to protect your skin from the sun and artificial sources of UV light. Usually the skin tone uh, evens out eventually. I mean, there is no need to worry that uh, if, uh, if your skin color is not uh, changing to normal, uh, for some weeks or even months then uh, you don't have to worry you keep on uh, I mean um, you applying this medicine okay uh, but you, you should consult doctor first okay do not I mean as I mentioned uh, already if there are no results after four weeks of your home remedies uh, the medicine which I already told then you should consult a doctor then we may prescribe some prescription strength medicine for some uh, for some longer duration okay so in that case uh, just remember that eventually i mean uh, uh, after some weeks or months that the skin tone will return to normal okay so this was my video about tinea versicolor i hope you like this video if you have questions about tinea versicolor or if you are suffering from any other skin problem not only skin problem if you are suffering from any other medical uh, illness because on my channel obesity bb 
there are so many videos about different illnesses okay you can see all those videos and if you if you are having a particular illness and you, you do not find that video about that illness then please write in your comment section and I, if I get a time I'll try to make a video about your illness as soon as possible okay and if I can't find a time I usually reply to uh, comments almost every comment as soon as I see those okay thank you very much for watching this video see you in next video bye for now